Hey guys, this is going to be a new different sort of tutorial and this is going to be in covering 3ds Max and this is going to be showing you the basics of UV mapping within 3ds Max. I'm using 3ds Max 2013. This is going to show you how to make you know, a simple sort of wooden crate and just showing you the really, really sheer basics of getting to grips with the UV uh, mapper within this program. So what we're going to do is going to create a box and I've got cube checked so when we you know make it out in the scene it'll be you know perfectly the same on either side then what we're going to do is right click the object say convert to and then I'll say edit pull poly on the mul uh, modifier list what we want to do is go down to um, unwrap view VW and now you'll get seams all the way around your um, box now this can be done on any object obviously so this is just going to show you the basics now if we click on the little plus next to unwrap UVW select face um, and if you click at the bottom here and say open UV editor you'll see that here's the UV in the box and it's got every single face all as one now what we want to actually do is you know unwrap this so we can you know put a texture on it on each face now the simple way when we're using faces specifically on a flat sort of surface what we can do is create um, apply this button which is a quick planar map so when we click this you'll notice that we actually get um, a face of that size so if we've got a face of this size we can click on um, this face I make a quick planar map we can just scale it down and we just need to make sure you know we've done every single side by clicking that box and we'll just scale it you know roughly the same size this is just showing you how to do it and then we'll do that again to there and we'll click that one and we'll just scale it down and the top one will do the same and then the underside if we click that and then we we'll just scale it in now we roughly have all the faces there so what I can do is if I show you now I can move each of these about and place them within my UV box now you want to you know to save as much space as possible so you, you know if you wanted different textures on each face you know, you'd want to you know move these up and scale them depending on what resolution but for this sort of instance we'll just apply the same texture to each face now what we'll do is actually just scale everything up up to the top of the box just so it's you know it's roughly the same size so then you know once we've done that we'll go to um, tools render UVW template we'll, ha we'll set the box to 512 by 512 just keep it within you know a good um, solid resolution render the UV template this is not a perfect template because I'm only just you know making sure that you understand the basics we'll you know save this out as a JPEG and then have it out as box UV and press OK then what we'll do is open up Photoshop and if I go to open if I open the box UV I've already got a texture um, within Photoshop here so what I'll do is copy and I'll paste this in just here this is just for basics I'll paste this in put that over there save it back out as a JPEG and call it um, box wooden UV save that out We'll go back into 3ds max again seeing as though this is now got the modifier for the uv map what we can do is press m go to the material editor now if i go down to maps and i find diffuse color press none select bitmap if i go to wherever i've saved my file i'll choose my box uv and then when i apply that i just drag it straight on and i say um, show shaded within the viewport you'll notice that we get the texture on every single side of the box um, perfectly um, 
because we've actually mapped it so it overlaps each other. Now if I go back into the UV editor and if we open the UV editor you'll notice that when the boxes actually overlap they'll display the same texture on each face. Obviously if I started um, adjusting it you'll be able to see now you can see if I select my map you can see that that's where it fits and if I selected all of these again all of these faces you know and I moved it about you would obviously see a difference within the map but we know we keep it within the workspace now one thing that you can actually do with a UV map if you scale it across and out of the actual UV radius you'll notice that it actually tiles the texture so you know you can tile something in a certain direction but this was just the basics of you know sort of UV mapping a box with which is just sort of a planar mapping and then you know working with the UV space and bringing in a simple texture within Photoshop and then you know texturing maybe your first sort of asset and then you know you can use crazy bump to make a normal map for that and bring it into a game but that's just very much the basics and you know if people don't understand or want to know more you know make sure you leave a comment tell me what you think so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers